The Global Finprint Project is the world's first standardized survey of sharks and stingrays on tropical coral reefs around the world. Um, we're here in the Eastern Caribbean, and particularly on the islands of Montserrat, Antigua and Barbuda, to see what the uh, levels and the conservation status of their sharks and stingrays are. It's great because we get to show communities why it's important to conserve sharks and stingrays, but also show them what's underneath the waters that they live right next door to, but don't often get a chance to experience firsthand. Barbuda, being a small island, is in a unique position. Because it's so small, they're extremely close-knit community and very reliant on their ocean resources. The Weight Institute is really happy to be partnering with Global Finprint to document the abundance and species of sharks around the islands in the Caribbean, specifically in Barbuda. I think they've found some really interesting information that we'll be able to take back to the classrooms, to the fisheries managers, and it's something that can build pride in the ocean. And who thinks sharks give birth to live sharks? Nice. And who knows this guy? Tiger shark. Tiger shark. Tiger shark. Exactly. Everybody's favorite. Tiger shark can eat through. Your shark populations seem to be doing very well, and that's something you should be incredibly proud of because we don't see the same thing everywhere in the Caribbean. When the food get less, they 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 not come less because they, they feed by stages. The bigger shark, the bigger fish feed that they the one next close, close up. But if there's no small fish, they ain't gonna see much fish. We used to catch, catch so much shark. Plenty! No, they're not as plentiful as before. The perspective we have here from the data and the research that's being done here is quite beneficial to the fisheries as a whole. Because of course, most of the island here depends on the fisheries and because of that, learning how to manage, how to protect and how to use it sustainably for future generations to come is an awesome opportunity for our islands. It's been a great privilege to witness the diversity of culture alongside the marine biodiversity within this previously unexplored corner of the Caribbean on behalf of Global Finprint's mission. Having worked in other parts of the region, this area has been somewhat of a data gap in my knowledge. It's been exciting to see such seemingly healthy populations of sharks and stingrays, and I'm really hoping to see the government and people of Barbuda become shark conservation champions of the Eastern Caribbean as we work to conserve these threatened species.